the morning. It's day 145, July 11th. Wednesday. It's about 6 a.m. Just left the Pleasant Pond Lean To. And I'm going to do 22 miles today to Horseshoe Canyon Lean To. It's chilly this morning. Um, I don't know what the temperature is. I imagine it could be upper 40s, definitely lower 50s. But I've got my shorts and t-shirt on and as long as I keep moving I'll be plenty warm until the sun gets up. And I think it's supposed to be in the mid 70s today. Fortunately we, fortunately we missed the rain yesterday and the thunderstorms. I heard some thunder and it sprinkled just a tiny bit but for the most part no rain so it's always nice to have to be dry and have dry gear to pack up getting ready to go up this mountain here and should flatten out or be downhill and then be flat the rest of the way to the lean-to. One exciting thing about today is a Mousetrap and I planned out our itinerary for the remainder of the trip and if all goes according to plan we'll be summiting one week from today. Hard to believe it's here already. Okay, until next segment. This is Reboot. Heading north. I'm at the top of Pleasant Pond Mountain. This is looking southeast. That's not Pleasant Pond. Pleasant Pond is behind me. That's where I stayed last night. And this is looking northeast. But one climb down, and then I got one more over Moxie Bald today, and then it flattens out all the way to the next one. It's 10.30, I'm going up Moxie Bald, and according to gut hooks, it says that there's supposed to be some caves in here that we have to go through. Maybe this is what they're talking about. Oh, well, thank goodness we don't have to go through there. Big slab of rock hanging over. Wow, that's pretty cool. That huge slab of rock sitting on that other one, and. Back in, the get, back in the day, I guess it uh, split off from this other hunk of rock. I'm surprised they're not making us walk up through there, but the white blaze is on this tree. So. Pretty cool. Nice cool air in here too. Getting to the top of Moxie Bald now. That must be Saddleback off in the distance. And I think that little pond there in the bowl might be Pleasant Pond where I stayed last night. And that in the middle must be Pleasant Pond Mountain that I came over this morning before coming here. And this is the view to the top of Moxie Bald. Going up this exposed rock. It's warm, but it's early enough that it's not too hot yet. 
See you at the top. This is coming down the north side of Moxie Bald. Another beautiful lake. That they call them ponds up here. And this may be the last extended view that I get for a while because the trail kind of flattens out. So we'll see. Here goes Mousetrap across the ford. I'm in the process of changing out into my sandals. Why'd you let go of the rope? Well, if he can't reach it, I know I can't. He's taller than me. That rope's too high. That wasn't bad. You know, I'm a firm believer in coming out here and doing your own thing. I just passed a guy walking barefooted, backpacking. You know, I just wanted to say to him, are you out of your mind? Come on, man. I can't let this go. I mean, humans have been wearing shoes for thousands of years. I think if you go back and look at the uh, hieroglyphics in the Egyptian tombs, you see people wearing shoes. You know, the Romans wouldn't have created an empire without some Roman sandals. I mean, what in the world? You're not at the beach. You're not at the pool. You're not at home. This is the Appalachian Trail. Okay? You see these roots and these rocks? The, the evolution of man's brain allowed him to come up with the concept of putting a piece of leather initially and now we, we're so evolved we have chemicals that make foam dense foam and insoles that go on your feet for comfort so that you can do the 2,190.8 Appalachian Trail. But this dude, no, I want to do it barefooted. Brilliant. This is going to be the wrap up video for day 145. I am at Horseshoe Canyon Lean To. And lean to's right there. And I'm down the hill here in my tent. Privy is, let's see if you can see it. Oh.
there's the privy right there. Had a pretty good day today, did uh, 22 miles. Uh, got here pretty soon, like four o'clock. And uh, once we did the two big climbs, uh, Pleasant Pine Mountain and uh, Moxie Bald, it was pretty much, uh, I mean, relatively flat. I mean, there were some small up and downs. One rocky section near the river, but once we got through that, it's pretty, pretty easy cruising, as Shaggy would say. But um, tomorrow, going to be nine miles into Monson, where we'll try to stay at Shaw's and resupply either there or the general store or both. And then Friday, we'll head off into the 100 mile wilderness and hopefully get through there in five days and come out at uh, Katahdin Stream Campground and summit on the 18th if everything goes according to plan. So hard to believe it's coming to an end already. But then again, seems like uh, forever ago that uh, I was starting out on Springer Mountain. So hope everybody's doing well. Until tomorrow, it's all good in the woods.